Hi everyone, welcome back to Jamila's Time. Today's video, I'm going to be making meat pie. For the new viewers, welcome to the family. And if you're already part of the family, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Let's get started. The ingredients we need to make our meat pies, we have some flour, eggs, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk and butter. First I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients together. So this is some salt, sugar and baking powder. And then next I add in the butter. And mix and then I'm gonna add in our two eggs I'm going to add in my milk at once and then my dough is a little bit soft so i'm going to add in more flour to make it more solid i really love to knit on the bank so i transfer my dough here it's easier for me to knit like this so i don't know what you prefer you can stay in the bowl or you can do it on the bank yourself I knit it until it's not sticky on my hands or like it's not sticky at all so we do this so this is how it has to look like when it's done and when you reach to this part you can let it rest for like two hours four hours overnight the way you wish but as of me today, I'm not going to let my door rest, but I recommend to let your door rest for at least one hour or 30 minutes before you start making the pies. So I'm not showing you how I'm making this meat because I was this meat was initially meant for sambusas and I made some sambusas, so this is the rest of it. And I have a video that shows how to make sambusa meat, but I'm going to use the same sambusa meat to make the meat pies. So literally this is a sambusa filling, but I'm going to make to use it for making meat pies. Usually if it was meant for meat pies, I would have add in some boiled potatoes, like cut in two cubes and some more things but it's literally the same thing just that you know i'm dividing my dough into four you make a round shape like this and then you roll it out So I roll out my dough until it's thin enough and then I bring this. I'm going to use this bowl to create my round shape. So I'm putting it in the center like this and then going round. Let me just roll it a little bit more. So I get one spoon of the meat, put it in the middle. Let me use one and a half. Cover it. And then I use the fork to go round like this. I 
and there you go this is our meat pie so there is many ways you can cook the meat pie you can either deep fry it put it in the oven or air fry it today I'm going to deep fry my meat pies so I'll show you how I do it but if you're going to put them in the oven it's best to put some eggs around on the top so that you get that goldenish color later so the next process is just to repeating the same process until the dough is finished so it depends on how much um, dough you have and for example if you want more meat pies you can always double on the portion of this recipe like you can make instead of three cups of flour you make it six if you want more you can even make it nine cups of flour and then you make it like to six eggs or four or three eggs you just have to calculate how you can double up the portion So I'm going to deep fry our meat pies. So you want to fry to deep fry your meat pies until they are this golden brown and it's best to put them in oil that is already on high heat so that they don't soak a lot of oil so here is our finished product i'm done deep frying my meat pies let me open one so that we can see inside they look like this inside if you like the video give it a thumbs up and comment down below and if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you for watching this video see you next time